Hi guys, it's Danny. Alrighty, today we're gonna discuss about something not so pleasant with our orchids, and this is the orchid fleck virus. In many of my videos, I was telling you that the spotting you see on many of my Phalaenopsis orchids is something caused by the spider mites. It's a disease they carry. And actually, it's the orchid fleck virus. Now, this is a pretty elusive virus. I will add in the description a link towards Wikipedia so you learn more about it. Uh, the main vector of transmitting this virus is, of course, the red spider mite or the false spider mite. Surprise, surprise. So you can imagine I'm pretty happy about that. Hmm. Okay, so the thing is, this type of virus does not affect all orchids. It seems to have some preferences. And for me, the most affected orchids are the monopodial orchids, particularly Phalaenopsis orchids and everything related, including the Sideria japonica. I don't want to call the Sideria Phalaenopsis, but they are related and it shows. So yeah, this is what these pots are all about. Now, because this is a virus, we have two options here. One, get rid of the plant. Two, wait and see what happens. Now, the thing is, it's not really clear if the orchids or the plants infected can actually fight off this virus. Some sources actually say they can, if you just give them time and get rid of the vector, which means getting rid of the spider mites. New growth should theoretically be okay. I didn't notice new growth being okay until I got the spider mite all over again. Now the thing with the spider mites, why am I battling so much with them? Well, when you have three or four orchids, it's kind of easy. You treat them every day, you clean the space, but when you have 150 orchids, it's not that easy really. This is a risk uh, we kind of need to assume when we have a big collection of orchids, and especially if we don't quarantine orchids, this is pretty much what happens and we need to assume this uh, pretty much a failure, I consider it a failure. But there you go, we learn from mistakes. Now, let's talk a little bit about spider mites. Okay, this is a Sideria japonica. You can see it's pretty much similar to what I showed you with the Phalaenopsis, but uh, other orchids are not affected by this. So, about spider mites. In the past few weeks, I tried all different methods to get rid of them. Because it's winter, I cannot really shower my orchids like I used to and they keep coming back because on some orchids they're harder to remove. I have Oncidiums which are clean but I have Phalaenopsis particularly which are really really hard to treat. I don't know, they bury themselves in the leaves. It's it's horrible. Anyway, so they keep coming back and infest other plants and so on and until I disinfect all of my balcony it's not gonna stop. It, so it's that bad. So that's why they keep coming back on some orchids and they keep damaging the leaves. So the past few weeks I tried all sorts of treatments. I tried drowning them. Somebody suggested that I submerge orchids 10 hours in water and this should theoretically drown the spider mites. It does not work. Then I tried garlic because it's supposed to give the plant this really awful taste. It does not work. Uh, then I tried... what else did I try? Um, I tried a few things that failed miserably. The spider mites do not die. The only thing that actually really works is the hairspray treatment. But when you have big, big orchids, you can't really do this. And I'm sorry for the exposure. I don't know why it's so bright. Um, so I can treat small orchids with hairspray and it works beautifully, but I cannot treat bigger ones. And bigger ones reinfect the orchids. Um, what I do with the whole soapy solution keeps them at bay, yes, but if I stop the treatment, some other uh, mites that I might have missed keep coming back. Also, if some mites are hidden in my shelves and all of that, they keep coming back and so on. It's practically a nightmare. Right now, I'm actually trying to get rid of them with bleach. I make a solution of uh, one part bleach and one part water and uh, treat them with a sort of a brush because I, I want to scrape them. There are a lot of uh, mites and eggs and stuff like that hidden in crevices and all of that, so I try to scrub them as best as I can. Initially I thought the bleach will burn the orchid, but this was treated this way and it didn't burn it. So I'm. I'm thinking of actually treating all of my orchids like that. Here's another Phalaenopsis with the fleck thing. So as you can see, it's not affected to the point of actually not growing anymore and all sorts of nasty things. It just looks really bad. So that's pretty much what's happening with the orchid fleck virus. Now, because there isn't enough information, I will keep the orchids affected a little bit more. I'm not sure if I'm going to take them with me because, you know, <laughs> they're infected. I might just, I don't know, discard them. But yeah, until then I'm gonna try to keep my orchids as pest-free as I possibly can, but I think next year I will admit defeat. I'll go by myself a systemic miticide, I'll go on a rocky surface or something when, where there isn't 
many vegetation, much vegetation, and I'll treat all of my orchids somehow. I'll just <laughs> put on some protective gear and I'll um, go for a miticide because stuff ain't pretty. So yeah, out of all the spider mites, you can get the false spider mite, the red one, that I have is the worst. And because it can carry orchid fleck virus, yeah, better not play around with it. So yeah, I'll have to admit defeat, try to keep uh, the infestation contained as much as possible until I move. That's what you get when you don't quarantine orchids. So quarantine them and inspect them and make sure they're free of pests. I will go as far as to actually treat all of the new orchids that I get before they actually get into the greenhouse because if they get in the greenhouse it's gonna be hell to remove them, the pests I mean. So yeah, that's the problem. So alrighty, if you ever see those spots on your Phalaenopsis orchids, I bet you it's orchid flag virus and I'm not sure you can get rid of it unless you get rid of the spider mites and I hope you do get rid of them. So alrighty, thank you for watching this video, hope you learned something new even though it's not pretty, it happens. If you want to see more videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel, I post on a daily basis. Feel free to leave me comments, suggestions or questions in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orkinature.com where you will find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining, I'll see you next time, bye!